India has hit back at Pakistan in the latest diplomatic clash over Kashmir, saying it was an entirely internal affair. After India removed the region's autonomy, Islamabad downgraded ties. Pakistan has signaled it will expel the Indian ambassador and won't be sending its own envoy to New Delhi. Islamabad has also suspended bilateral trade and has announced it will shut down the cross-border train service. Now for more analysis on this, we're joined by Dr. Sriram Chaulia. Dr. Sriram is a professor and dean at the Jindal School of International Affairs in Sonipat near Delhi. Uh, firstly, India has repeatedly stressed that its decision is an entirely internal affair. How valid is this given Kashmir's disputed status? No, you know, it is an uh, internal matter uh, because uh, India controls that part of Kashmir for the last uh, 70 years since independence. It is uh, disputed only from the point of view of Pakistan. But from the point of view, uh, it has always been an integral part of India, except that it, were, it had enjoyed some kind of a special status, which had been misused by local politicians to fan secessionism and separatism. So now uh, those uh, you know, undue uh, political freedoms have been withdrawn, and the attempt is to fully integrate Kashmir into India. So I don't think that um, it can be called an international or a disputed uh, matter. Um, it is you know, a volatile region where Pakistan has interfered uh, against uh, India's interests, and it still wants to interfere because it wants to uh, uh, wrest uh, Kashmir away from India. So, uh, but India rejects that and says that this is sovereign territory. So, uh, it is an internal matter from the Indian point of view, and uh, I think uh, that's how the, the uh, power realities on the ground, as well as the overall uh, geopolitical picture, is. Um, but Dr. Shreem, help us understand because critics are saying that, you know, this is also, you know, Jammu and Kashmir is also occupied by Pakistan. This has been going on for the last seven decades. So, you know, help us understand why Pakistan has been wrapping up diplomatic pressure on India if, you could, if it is said that it is India's internal um, position. Yeah, the reason for that is the, uh, Pakistan occupies one third of Kashmir uh, as a result of a uh, indecisive war in 1947-48, right after the independence of the two countries. And two-thirds of Kashmir is in the Indian control. And um, so the one-third that's under Pakistani control remains with them, and the two-thirds that's under Indian control remains with us for the, this has been the status quo for a long time. But Pakistan, because it was formed on the notion of uh, as a homeland for the Muslim uh, Muslims of the subcontinent, uh, believes that its nationhood is incomplete unless Kashmir, which is a Muslim-majority uh, region, also integrates with Pakistan. And the Indian viewpoint is that uh, we do not accept the notion that uh, Muslim-majority does not necessarily have to mean a separate state, that they can coexist with uh, Hindus and uh, Sikhs and Christians. So, so the Indian ethos is based on uh, multiculturalism and multi-ethnic coexistence. The Pakistani one is based on the Islamist identity. So they claim cut the whole of Kashmir on the basis that because the people of Kashmir are Muslim, they should belong to Pakistan. But the I think this is an erroneous notion because there are 180 million uh, Muslims in India and out of whom only 7 million are uh, Kashmiri Muslims. So by that logic, all the 180 million Muslims of India should become subjects or citizens of Pakistan, you know? So it just doesn't make sense, this whole logic of territorial claims backed up by jihadist activity, and the whole thing is built up on the idea of a kind of a religion equals nation, you know? And that's the problem.